A 4.6 kilogram box is pulled across a smooth surface. The force acting on the box is a magnitude of 6.2 newton and points in a direction 35 degrees above the horizontal. If the box starts at rest, how fast is it moving after being pulled for 1.15 seconds? The easiest way to solve problems involving forces in two dimensions is to treat each other coordinate direction independently of the other. Just as we did many times when we discussed tayo ng two-dimensional kinematics. Thus, in solving forces in two dimensions, we first resolve each force into x and y components. Newton's laws can be applied to each coordinate direction independently of the others and therefore, kapag nagdodraw tayo ng free body diagram, Uh, we just have to make sure to include a coordinate system. And once yung forces natin ay na-resolve na into their x and y components, the second law can be solved for each component separately. Working in a component-by-component -component solution is the systematic way of using Newton's laws of motion. Example number one, campers lift a food cooler with a weight of 192 newton using two ropes hung over three branches. Rope 1 exerts a force with a magnitude of 166 newton at an angle of 47 degrees above the horizontal. And rope 2 naman exerts a force at an angle of 36.1 degrees above the horizontal. Letter A, find the magnitude of the force 2 that produces a net force on the cooler that is straight upward. Letter B, determine the net force acting on the cooler. In forces in two dimensions, again, one of the best way to solve the problem is to use a free body diagram. So, alam na natin yung forces na nag act dun sa object which is yung cooler. For free body diagram, again, we will assume that yung object is a, we will convert the object into just a point here. And say, ito yung ating coordinate system, the x and the y. This is the f2. And we have 36 degrees here, 0.1 degrees. Ito naman yung ating F1. This is 47.4 degrees. And this is the weight of the object. This is now our free body diagram. And for letter A, to solve for the magnitude of the force 2, kailangan natin i-resolve each forces into their components. For the force 1, we have F1Y. And this is equal to F1 sine the angle na 47.4 degrees. And for F1x naman, this is equal to F1 cosine 47.4 degrees. And we have to make sure about this sign. F1x is negative kasi considering this is the sign positive to the right and positive to the upward. For the F2 Y naman, this is equal to F2 sine 36.1 degrees. For the F2x, this is equal to F2 cosine 36.1 degrees. We want the net force to be purely vertical. Ibig sabihin that yung x component of the net force must be 0. And that is, yung summation of the horizontal natin at the x component is equal to 0. So, in this situation, pwede natin ma-solve yung force 2. Ito ay yung isa sa gagamitin natin to solve for the force 2. And sa summation of forces natin at the horizontal, pag a natin lahat ng forces na nasa horizontal. So, yung F2, mayroon tong F2y, ito siya. And ito yung kanyang F2x. This is the F1y. And ito yung f 1 x Again, we add the F1x to F2x. Summation of F of x is equal to F1x natin is negative F1 cosine 47.4 degrees plus F2x this is F2 cosine 36.1 degrees. Again, 
Yung summation of f of x natin is 0. Pwede nating ilipat to sa kabila. This is positive f1 na cosine 47.4 degrees equals f2 cosine 36.1 degrees. Alam natin yung value ng f1 which is equal to 166 newton. So, we can now solve for the F2. We just, uh, we divide both sides by cosine 36.1 degrees. Cosine 36.1 degrees. So, we can cancel this one. F2 now is equal to, ang F1 natin is again 166 Newton. Cosine 47.4 degrees divided by cosine 36.1 degrees. By calculating, F2 now is equal to 139 Newton. For letter B naman, yung X component of the net force is 0. So, kung gagamitin natin yung nasolve natin na force 2 na to, 139 Newton from part A, lahat ng matitira, all that remains to find the net force on the cooler is to sum the Y components of all three forces. For net force Y, pag natin lahat ng nasa Y components yung F1Y, F2Y, and yung weight. Net force Y is equal to F1 sine 47.4 degrees plus F2 sine 36.1 degrees minus yung weight. Negative yung weight dahil nasa baba siya. Summation of F at y or the net force at the vertical we substitute the values ang f1 natin again is 166 newton sine 47.4 degrees plus ang f2 is 139 sine 36.1 degrees minus ang weight na given which is 192 newton ang net force natin at the vertical is equal to 11.9 Newton. The net force acting on the cooler is equal to positive 11.9 Newton in the positive y direction. So this is example number one. Example number two. A 4.6 kilogram box is pulled across a smooth surface. The force acting on the box is a magnitude of 6.2 Newton and points in a direction 35 degrees above the horizontal. If the box starts at rest, how fast is it moving after being pulled for 1.15 seconds? For example, this is the box. And this is the surface. Hila-hila siya with the force of 6.2 Newton. And this is from angle 35 degrees. And meron siyang bigat. And yung box is meron bigat na 4 0.6 kilograms. Assuming again that this is the positive sides, yung right and yung up. So in terms of this coordinate system, yung force is 35 degrees above the positive x-axis. Ito nga siya. The Newton second law can be used to find the x component of the acceleration. And once na alam na natin yung acceleration and yung time of pulling which is given, Pwede na natin gamitin yung kinematics to find the final speed of the box. Solving for the force at the x direction, ito yung ating fx. And nandito naman yung ating fy. Pero hindi natin pagagamitin yung fy kasi ang kailangan lang natin is yung final velocity na na-reach nung box after being fold for 1.15 seconds. f of x is equal to f cosine theta. F of x is equal to force natin na given is 6.2 newton cosine theta is 35 degrees. So we solve for the force at the horizontal component. This is equal to 5.08 newton. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Kailangan pa natin isolve yung acceleration para masolve natin yung velocity using kinematics equation. For the acceleration, we use the second law of motion. It is the net force at the horizontal component and this is equal to fx lang. Dahil fx lang naman yung nasa horizontal component. 
equals mass times the acceleration at the horizontal. Solving for the acceleration at x is equal to f of x over the mass. So we have 5.08 newton over 4.6 kilograms. Again, this is kilograms times meters per second square. So makakancel yung kilograms and matitira is meter per second square. By calculating, the acceleration at the horizontal component now is equal to 1.1 meters per second square. Alam na natin yung acceleration, pwede na natin isolve ngayon yung final velocity na marireach nung box nung hinila siya 1.15 seconds. So, we use the kinematics equation na V sub X dahil nasa horizontal component yung ating sinusolve, wala tayong velocity upward. And this is V O X plus A X times the time. Again, Ang keyword is, nag, yung boxes nag-start from rest. Ibig sabihin, zero na agad yung ating initial velocity. V of x now is equal to, ang ax natin is 1.1 meters per second square times the time na 1.15 seconds. And by calculating, final velocity now is equal to 1.27 meters per second. Again, yung y component ng force natin, which is yung Fy, kaya hindi na natin sinolve kasi wala naman siyang effect dun sa acceleration ng box natin kasi yung motion ng box natin is at the horizontal. So, this is example number 2.